Good evening. I'm Kristen Kennedy. The Laurel County Deputy Coroner is calling an early morning crash that killed a teen a freak accident. The deputy coroner says 17 year old William Walters was walking near railroad tracks and waiting on his younger brother and cousin near Tackett Road in Lilly when a train hit him. Garrett Weimer spoke to one of Walters' friends in our top story at 11. One girl who says she had a class with William Walters described him as a smart kid and someone who was nice to everybody. Really, the kind of person who's really going to be missed. Others say they'll never forget him. He's an amazing guy with an amazing personality. According to the deputy coroner, it was around 3 o'clock in the morning, just a quarter of a mile away from this railroad crossing near Tackett Spur Road. William Walters was out with his cousin and brother to go camping, deputies say. They had gone to get things to build a fire, and he was waiting on them to come back when he was hit. Deputies say the train operator saw him on the tracks and tried to stop, but it was too late. I always knew how to make me laugh when I was down. We actually had plans to hang out sometime this weekend, but didn't get to. Those who knew William say they're having a hard time coming to grips with his death because of how much he meant to them. One girl says he was like a brother to her ever since she moved here, and it won't be the same without him. I was walking actually at breakfast trying to find somewhere to sit, and he welcomed me. He was like, You want to sit with me and my friends? I said, Sure. Ever since then, we've been best friends. He looked up, you know, I looked up to him. He was always, he always had my back. I also talked to some other friends of Williams who say he was a big part of their youth group. They say they plan on wearing black to church in his memory. In Laurel County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. The deputy coroner says there's no sign at this point that drugs or alcohol were in Walter's system at the time of his death.